I also love to travel all around China and get so much inspiration and part of everything that I see and hear into my music. My first impression of Hong Kong is it's a very cultural city. Um, so many things I never expected to see, like the taxis here are so cute and the buses really look like London buses, all of the red buses driving around, I love it. And there's a real music vibe here as well. Oh, Cantonese pop's so famous. Um, some of my favourite artists are Jackie Chung, Zhang Xue Yo, and my absolute favourite is Ethan. Yeah, I'm actually in Hong Kong this time, I'm covering Zhang Xue Yo's Erlang Fang Fu. I'm doing two versions, one version in English and the second version in Hello everybody, my name is Sean Gibson. I'm a British singer-songwriter, music artist, video maker, currently based in Beijing and I really love Chinese traditional instruments. I love to write my original songs and put them into my works. So that's why I'm staying in China, to explore the wonderful culture here and the wonderful musical instruments. So I first learned about Chinese culture whilst I was in the UK, but it was always presented to me as kind of history or ancient culture. But when I came to China for the first time, I saw a pipa player playing in Chengdu in a shopping centre and that made me realise, wait a minute, these traditional instruments are still very much part of modern day Chinese culture, they still have a place, they're very, very much alive and just realising that there's so much more to Chinese culture than I ever imagined. I just love the combination of having electronic music and natural sounding instruments being put together, it's a kind of fusion of East and West and modern and traditional as well because I'm right basically in my original music I'm essentially writing modern western pop songs but with a kind of Chinese flavor and also I like to do that in my music videos as well so it's, it's a nice marriage between audio and visual. You really can't translate a Chinese song into English directly it just sounds terrible because the culture is different so in Chinese language, you'll have different metaphors for things. For example, the moon in Chinese culture represents loneliness. We don't have that association in English, so the culture's different. So if, even if I wrote a song uh, like, uh, the moon represents my heart. Well, in English, the moon doesn't represent your heart. So how do you translate that? <laughs> you can't, it's totally different ideas. Ideology. I'm sort of like a songwriter actor, so I really want to have the, the same picture in my mind as the original songwriter had. And then what I do is I translate that picture. Because really what I think language is just a translation of life. It's life's experience, it's a perspective. So if I can really visualize in my mind that perspective, then I can rewrite that perspective in a way that I know English-speaking people will relate to and understand. My vision's deteriorating. I've not lost everything yet. The central vision in my left eye is starting to go now. So everything's becoming kind of darker and greyer. So I don't know how long I'll be able to retain that vision. It could be another two years, it could be another five years. It could be six months. I really have no idea. Three words to describe myself. First one, Bauro. Bauro. I don't know how you say that in English. I guess it means embrace, like sort of embrace everything, that kind of, and welcome everything, accept everything. Second one, um, Loguan, optimistic. The third one, Jianshi. And the willingness to never give up. And no matter what problems or challenges life present to me, no matter how painful, I always find a way to either go around them or go over them or just break through them completely. <laughs> 